What is up guys, we are back again with another PS Vita tutorial and on this one we are going to install SD to Vita adapter I have the version 2.0 but you can use the latest version which is 5.0 and looks more like a PS Vita card, a game card and then this uh, but this still works. The 5.0 has a 20 to 30 percent faster loading rate, I believe. And with this SD to Vita, we are also going to use a SanDisk Ultra 400 gigabyte micro SD. This tutorial is mainly for higher gigabyte SD cards, so anywhere from 256 to upwards, uh, you have to install the SD to Vita this way rather than relying on the plugin which is on auto plugin where you can just automatically um, assign your SD to Vita and it kind of does it itself but in this case because we're using a larger SD card we are going to have to mess around with some of the config files on Vita Shell which I'll show you how to do that shortly. So the first thing you want to make sure is that your PS Vita or PS TV is running the exploit Enzo running on 3.60 or 3.65 I'm running 3.60 using Enzo as my custom firmware so you need to make sure your Vita has that before you can install the SD to Vita adapter I have done tutorials on that so I will link a description if you haven't done so um, so as you can see on my system settings and system information I am running 3.60 and I currently have a 16 gigabyte uh, PS memory card in there. Let's see we have only 3 almost 4 gigs left. I'm going to delete some of these games to free up some space because we have to run Vita Shell which is another program that you need already installed. Uh, to be able to do the file transfers and stuff. So I'm just going to uninstall these games here. Free up as much space as I can. So I've gone and freed up a lot of space. Um, so now I have 14 gigs remaining. I've done this so it will be easy for me to back up what's on the PS Vita memory card and then transfer all those files onto an SD card. If you don't want to delete you know any of your stuff on your memory card if you want to save uh, all your game saves and that then when you go onto Vita Shell it's faster to connect via USB uh, than FTP. In my case I'm going to use FTP because I don't have much files to back up. Um, if we go back so what the SD to Vita does, it changes the UX0 folder. So this will be the SD card once we've successfully put all the files together. And then you can still use your Sony memory card, but um, you can only use one at a time. So just, just bear that in mind. Um, I believe the memory card will become just as a storage device once you use your SD card. Another thing is make sure your SD card is legitimate because if your memory card is not legitimate you're going to come up with a lot of errors and the storage space is probably not what it says it is. So just be aware of that because there's a lot of knockoff uh, SD cards out there. So what we're going to do is we're going to press start on Vita Shell. Uh, make sure you choose memory card and then we're going to change this to FTP. So press select and then it will give you a FTP server link. So we're going to leave that running and then transfer over to our PC. Alright, so we're onto our PC now and as you can see I am using WinSCP as my preferred FTP transfer program and I've already put the link here so I'm just going to log in and now we're onto our beta if you just check on UR0 I've already have the storage manager set up because I've done this previously but 
under a tie folder in new r0 this is where all our files need to be and then new x0 our tie folder is blank so that is fine the first thing we want to do is we want to download storage manager.skprx and then the storage config file and then you need this program here called win32 disk imager and this is for your S to format your SD card correctly so your Vita can read it so download that as well this will open like a mega link and this is the image file we need to write to our SD card so this is what you would use with the Win32 Disk imager, imager. So get all of that. And then what we need to do is go into our UR0 folder. And then I have all the files in one folder here. So we just want to copy or drag the storage manager SKPRX file onto your tie folder if it will do it All right so once you drag your storage manager skprx file onto your tie ur0 and then just open up storage config text so we just need to make a few adjustments here now mcd equals uma0 if you use a sony memory card then keep this on if you don't plan to use a sony memory card then you can actually just go ahead and delete this i am still going to use a memory card so i'm going to keep this as as it is and then for int equals imc0 if you are a psp a ps sorry ps vita 2000 user or a pstv user then you should keep this on if you are running this through a PS Vita 1000, then you don't need this. So I actually don't need this here. So for GCD equals UX0, because I'm using a SD to Vita, this is fine to leave this here. But if you are using a PSVD storage device or a USB storage device, then you actually need to change this to UMA. But as I'm using the uh, SD to Vita, then I actually don't need to change this. And then the last one, UMA equals GRW0. If you are using multiple storage devices, then you wanna keep this here. If you don't plan to use a Sony memory stick or whatever, then you can actually go ahead and delete this. But in my case, I'm keeping it as this and then once you save it, you can then just transfer this over onto your UR0 tie folder. Okay, once you've done that, we need to go onto our config file under UR0. Open it up. I'm just going to delete this string and then re add it because this is the string that we need to do. Your tie config file probably won't look like this. It probably look different but most of these plugins because I've already set this up are set to UR0 tie apart from the adrenaline kernel which it says UX0 but this whole folder from UX0 is going to be transferred to our SD to Vita card so it will then think it's running off the uh, SD card instead so that's absolutely fine uh, what we need to do is we need to add our storage manager plugin string here so then uh, it can read this first so just type in ur0 colon tie slash i'm just going to copy this text here because we want to make it as foul proof as possible because uh, any typo will cause this not to work and then I'm just going to save it. And 
All right, so the next step now is to actually back up everything from our UX0. So all I'm going to do is click download and this will just download to your documents folder, I believe. But you can change the output file. Um, so just click OK and then this is going to fetch everything from our memory card. And this is what we need to do is we need to transfer everything onto uh, our SD to via or SD card. While that is downloading, I am going to prepare the SD card now. So let's go ahead and check out the memory card. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write the the image file onto the SD card. So once you have Win32 disk image installed, so let's just search it here. So open up Win32 disk imager. What is our memory card? I think it's letter M. Right, so pick the ZZ blank. This is says one, but I'm going to change this because I've downloaded this before. So ZZ blank image file. I'm going to write it to the SD card, making sure that is all correct. continue because we're going to overwrite it anyway. That is fine. And then back onto our SD card, we're going to format this, making sure it's XFAT. This is an important bit, allocation, unit size, we want to change that to 64 kilobytes in order for this to work. We're just going to click start. All right, so our files have downloaded, and as you can see here, this is our entire UX0 folder. So I had a 16 gig memory card, and it transferred 556, which took about 10 minutes on uh, FTP. Like I said, if you have uh, more files uh, to download, like several gigabytes, then Preferably uh, use the USB method instead of the FTP because it could take hours to transfer such large data. Um, so with this file, with this folder downloaded, we can just copy all of this and then transfer it onto our SD card. This should take a lot quicker than the FTP. As you can see, it's only going to take a few minutes to transfer. But that is pretty much it for the PC part. Um, as long as you have your your storage manager set up here, and then the config file also set up correctly, then you shouldn't have any problems at all. Another thing is before you transfer stuff, make sure you have your file and folders set up correctly. So if you are experiencing where, if you have a problem with seeing all the folders here, just make sure it is identical to this. So you can copy all of the correct folders onto your SD card. So I'm just going to let this run and then we're going to transfer to the Vita. So we're back onto the Vita now and we're still logged in via FTP. So what we're going to do is we're going to reboot the system because the changes won't be made in effect until everything is rebooted. So I'm just going to power off. And I am also going to remove the memory card. 
Alright, so our files have successfully transferred to our SD card. And now I am going to transfer this into our SD to Vita. Now I've already removed the Sony memory card, and then this just goes into our game slot. Now I'm going to turn it on. Alright, so we're just going to check the memory now. So if you go on system information, and there we go, you can see Vita is now reading the SD to Vita card, the SD card as 366. And again, this should work with a 512 gig card or at one terabyte, I believe this should work with. Go on to our Vita shell just to triple check. There we go. There you can see our storage here. So yeah, that is how you switch your Sony memory card to a SD to Vita using a large storage SD card such as this 400 gigabyte one that I have demonstrated. And then we can just carry on and install things as we please using PKGJ or you can also connect via Vita shell and transfer files that way. If you do come across some issues, another thing you can do is just go into auto plugins and make sure SD to Vita settings is correct because sometimes this might not work from the get go. Um, but we can configure our SD to Vita, like switch the official memory card as a different port, etc. So SD to Vita is our UX0 live area application so all our games get saved onto that folder. So yeah, if you have any troubles with it not reading the SD card then just go onto the storage manager plugin for SD to Vita and change some of the settings. So I hope this tutorial has been useful for you guys. If you have any questions then please comment below and yeah, I will see you again on another tutorial. Thanks for watching.